What's going on? Welcome back to the huddle. There are only two rounds left, but before we get into the 10 for round 24, let's quickly check out the score from round 23. And it was all thanks to the armband on Tom Travoyevich going absolutely massive there. He helped to score 1,224 points. It was a round ranking of 7,884. So there were some massive scores out there this week, but it's good news. We've seen a green arrow. We've gone up 61 places and now sit at 515. So with two rounds to go, I'm hoping we can just hold on, stay inside that top 1,000. Luckily, Turbo came through for us last week because the rest of the team scored pretty poorly there, but let's hope this week we'll be able to pick the right starting 17. But before we look at our captain choice and starting 17, make sure you check out FPL Dare, my new FPL YouTube channel. We've just been dared in game week two to triple captain Aguero, and he went massive. I'm absolutely mind blown, can't believe that. So head over there, subscribe, support the channel, and get involved. So with only two trades left, I am tossing up using those last two trades and I'm looking at bringing in Munster for Widdip. I'd have to use another trade as well because they can't afford that one trade. I've only got 10 grand in the bank. Now Munster, the Storm, they're coming up against the Titans. So I'm looking at also downgrading Remus Smith. I could nuff him out, but I could also bring in Olam, who's named to start in the centers for Chambers. So it might be worth playing him just a bit of a Hail Mary, but it might be too risky there at this point of the season. We're 500 spots inside our goal. So let me know in the comments section, is it worth bringing Munster and Olam in? And let me know what you think about this starting 17. Now, Cam Smith has had those back spasms, so I am tempted not to play him, but he's just proved in the past that even when he might have a niggle, he can just go huge, he can turn up. Another big decision is to play Ryan James or Jai Arrow. Should I play both of them or neither? And Cody Walker had a bit of a shocker last week. Coming up against the Raiders, I am thinking of leaving him on the pine. And I'm also tempted to play Kurt Mann instead of Ewan Aitken. Now, the Dragons have got a few injuries there to some key players, but Kurt Mann looked pretty energized out there, looked willing to get some attacking stats. So let me know, should I play Kurt Mann or Ewan Aitken? Now I am very tempted to put the armband straight on Tom Travojevic. The Eagles are coming up against the Tigers, it's the first game of the round, so I am also thinking of just putting the vice captain armband on him, but I don't really want to cop an automatic emergency. It could be Lewis there from the Bulldogs, which may not turn out too bad, but let me know, should I go vice captain turbo or stick the armband straight on him? Otherwise I'm looking to go Tamil Lolo against the Eels as the captain playing on Friday night. So make sure you let me know how your team's going. Are you in your head-to-head -head finals? There's only two rounds left of that, so let me know if you have any questions about your team. Feel free to help each other out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I hope you post a massive round 24 score. Let's go.